Greetings everybody and welcome to my video. Today uh, the experimental three phase pulse motor is hooked up to three circuits. These are the the Bedini SSG monopole circuit and there are three coils there so that back coil back there with the green strip on it is the green circuit and the yellow one which is in the center is the yellow circuit and the red one is the red circuit. Now I, right now I have it running just off of the red circuit and this which is this one here and this is actually would be if you consider this the first phase this would be the second phase then that would be the third phase in a three phase setup so each one of these coils is firing on their own phase so and they each have their own individual circuit and we got it spinning up to almost 500 rpms right now so what I'm going to do is, well first of all I want to hook my meter into the run battery here. Stay there. There we go. So right now the run battery is at 12.74. Now when I hook another circuit to it, it's going to go down about five one hundredths of a volt roughly. So we'll do that. We'll come to here. Let's see, we'll hook that one to there. And then this one to here. She really is taking off now. Yeah, she really took off with that one. So, like that one, didn't it? Okay, so, well, let's hook the... So, now what we have, we have the yellow one and the red one in. Tied in here, so let's... Tie the other one in here, so let me move this up to here. And then this one to this one here. And then let's go around here to this ground. Now those are the grounds on the run. This all the stuff on this side of the coil, on this side, this side of the circuit is the run side and then that's the charge side. So that is the the negative and the positive on the run side respectively so let me hook this one more up here for the positive on the run side and now we're going even faster really pushing it now there's a thousand rpm And it's really starting to shake my little table here. Spinning right up though. That's with all three coils on their own individual circuit firing on their own phase about the rotor. And it's still climbing. So we'll see where it levels off at. I wanted to share a few other things with you. And my my coil winder there. This is the way I had it originally because my coils I was winding them a half inch thick. As you can see those ones up there. So since I went to 75 foot lengths with the two wires, of course the coil got a lot smaller. So I made this little jigsaw piece right here, and it just fits right over that. 
and then when you push the dowels into it, it holds it in place real nice and was able to spin a coil up real nice quarter inch thick and then my my coil packs that I have there all they are is just two pieces of this quarter inch lawn we have uh, just shove them down in there like that and then I took the when I popped the coil off of there I just slid it down on there and then I tapped it down on each side so it didn't mess the coil up when it was pushing it on there because it's it wants to shrink a little bit the coil itself gets fatter but it gets shorter when you take it off the jig just a little bit it wants to expand a little bit you know between the different pieces of wire there so um, you put the one side on and then you have to really give it a good tug to open it back up enough to get it in the hole but after you do that you just slide that down on there and then I just took a, a little hammer and just tapped on it a little bit and then there was that's it there's no glue in it or nothing so if I want to take them apart I just pop them right off there now it's got some screws in there holding on there. actually this screw right here is not doing anything but holding up the wire there uh, but uh, each one of them only has two of those pan head screws on so we're at now we're at 1142 RPM and it seems to have leveled out there a little bit so where's our run battery sitting on 1263 so it took about four volts or four one hundredths of a volt for each one I added on there so that's what it dropped it down to now it'll stay like that for a while on that 1262 63 around in there somewhere seems to level off at 1140 and uh, oh and then I got these there I don't know if you noticed the last video I had a different one here but I got a whole bunch of these in a box somebody was throwing away and I collected it up and those were in there and what a nice find I got a whole bunch of different ones so I'll be pulling them out here so somebody can enjoy them because they're just sitting in there so bring them out one at a time I guess so I guess that's what I wanted to go over with you tonight um, I think my next video will probably be of these three coils the same three coils all on the same phase and then we'll see how that how it drives the wheel kind of fluctuates a little bit maybe it's going to hold there at 1143 rpm hmm interesting interesting well I hope you enjoyed the video have a wonderful day peace